back again uh, with another tabletop unboxing and, and review. This time we have the Victron Orion 2412-70 DC to DC converter. Let me put that up here so you can see the, the box. So there's the box. Nice little picture on this one instead of being just in a white box. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, Orion DC to DC converter for just a second before we open the box. So the idea with these um, are that if you've got a 24 volt battery system, which is what I've got in mind, um, you need to be able to get from 24 volts to 12 volts because all of the stuff inside your rig runs, the DC stuff runs on a 12 volt system. And so you somehow have to get, you know, step down that 24 volts to the 12 volts for your rig. And that's what these DC to DC converters do. So in my rig right now, I already have one of these installed. Um, and this is just a secondary one that I'm going to put in for um, basically backup reasons and some extra capacity just in case I need it. And I'll talk more about that in uh, one of the other videos where I, where I talk about my, uh, is it my still my uh, dream RV power system. But anyway, here's the, the, the system that is going to get installed. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at it and see if we can get a better idea of what it looks like when you were to install it. So uh, if I can get in here and get these little tabs out. You can see I haven't even cracked open this box yet to make sure everything's in there. So all right, box open. In typical Victron fashion, you've got your instructions here right on the top. Really small card this time. Um, multiple uh, languages here on the card, uh, on the instructions here, if you can see those there. Some pictures to look at. Um, yeah, there we go. Just talking a little bit about it. We'll worry about that later. And then the actual device itself right here. Push this off to the side as well. And take this out. And you know, these things, these things are pretty, pretty solid. They've got some heft to them, which is generally a good sign when you get electrical components, especially things that are doing, um, conversion and inversion. You want to have a lot of copper in there uh, in, in the coils to do that. And so it's nice to have something with heft. Uh, so this particular unit, again, it's a 2412-70, meaning it goes from 24 volts. You can see right uh, there we go, 2412-70. It goes from 24 volts down to, to 12 volts, and it will uh, supply up to 70 amps continuous load. Although it does say here that it can also do 85 amps maximum um, peak loads for a certain amount of time. I guess I could probably read in here and it'll tell me how long it'll do that 85. So I can't see it on this one really quick, but the idea is it's basically consider this to be 70 amps worth of, of continuous power that it will provide. And if you look at the actual connections here, you have three connections. You have a common ground that uh, is common between both your 12 and your 24 volt side. And then you have on this side right here, this one is the 24 volt side, because it tells you the numbers there. You have a range of input of either 18, anywhere from 18 to 32 volts. And then this post right here is your output side. And that tells you you can go anywhere from 10 to 15 volts. Uh, and it is, um, apparently tunable. I think you can change the input and output voltage. I'm trying to see if there's a little potentiometer somewhere that you can turn for that because I believe it is something that's adjustable. You may have to go in and do it via software by connecting into the, the remote switch right there, which is not something that I've actually done. I just take it in its default configuration and it works just fine. Uh, it does have a fan, which is nice. <clears throat> Allows you to uh, keep the thing cool when it's uh, under heavy load. Uh, again, a good, n nice, solid metal housing here as well. So, uh, as I said, it's, it feels very solid. It, it'll keep up, uh, I think, really 
um, really well with w whatever your, your needs are. So you might ask, you already have one of these, why are you getting another one? Well, the truth is, um, I probably don't need a second one. However, seeing as the 12 volt system in my rig is obviously so important, right? Everything in the rig that runs on DC runs on 12 volt. Uh, right now, this is technically a single point of failure. Now, in a, in a traditional rig where you've got multiple batteries, if one of your batteries dies, you still have another battery to be able to provide some power, right? Well, in this case, if this thing goes out, the one that I have in my area now goes out, I lose DC power. And so, really, the biggest reason I got this was some redundancy, just in case. Now, do I expect one of these things to fail? No. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm sure that these things rarely fail. But for $140 or so, having a nice little extra backup just in case is not a bad idea. Um, another reason you might say is, well, you need more than 70 amps of power on your 12 volt side. And in my situation, no, I don't. Uh, I have my rig has a single slide that uses um, uh, Schwintech, the Schwintech system. So it's got the four DC motors on it. I've actually done some measurements on that, and when it's running, it only draws maybe 10 amps, right? So I've got plenty of amps available to me now, so I don't necessarily need the extra amp wrench. But again, as a backup and as a, the ability to just have some extra uh, amps available just in case I put, plug something in that's going to draw more amps, I'll have that extra. So that's the reason why I got this. But anyway, that's just a quick unboxing and, and review of the Orion uh, DC to DC converter. It's again 24 slash 12 dash 70. Uh, the, there, it's their top end um, unit. So anyway, there's that unit. Thanks for stopping by to, to check it out and uh, hope to see you in some future videos.